an illusory effect of seeing Sri Raghavendra before us. Sri Jayachandran contacted me from Kottar and said, I am thinking of doing something for the Granthalaya. He was the one who, by supreme bhakti, had caused Sri Raghavendra's Mrithika Brindavana installation in Vadaparani, Aragiri Nagar, Chennai. Continuing his talk, he laid before me the proposal that he would take up the construction of the Sanctum Sanctorum of Sri Raghavendra Granthalaya. After some hesitation, I said yes to his submission. It was my intention to have three Garbhagrahas in the Granthalaya, with the possibility of even a fourth one being included in the construction plan. Therefore, I thought of giving the second one to Jayachandran as the first one had already been earmarked for Sainath. At this stage, it's relevant to examine the tasks associated with the Granthalaya establishment that need to be methodically taken on hand for execution. Apart from what has been obtained as donation, some more land has to be acquired and the Bhumi Puja has to be organized in 2011. Granthalaya does not mean merely a library or a publishing house, but signifies the connected activities too. Books will be published on behalf of the Granthalaya and a magazine too will be printed and circulated which is intended to bring together a large number of devotees for accomplishing certain common objectives. While Granthas may be published by any individual or organization, what is proposed to be done in the Granthalaya is to exhibit in a realistic manner certain incidents thematic portrayals as contained in the Granthas with appropriate three-dimensional presentations. It may be recalled that in part 3, the Brindavana Pravesh of Sri Raghavendra had been depicted pictorially and in the Granthalaya too there will be 12 pillars in the Garbhagraha as at Mantralaya. The Brindavana will be presenting a majestic site there and if viewed below the ground level from a close by range, Sri Raghavendra's image of sitting below the Brindavana and doing Japa there could be seen in a three-dimensional presentation, creating a realistic impression of his presence there. Below that tier, the 1008 Pujaya Raghavendraya completed notebooks received from devotees with particulars of their name, Gotra and birth star will be enshrined and uh, preserved in that space. This is an arrangement intended to be of continual benefit to the posterity too. And this will be the one among the four Garbhagrahas. The four Garbhagrahas will symbolize the four mundane avatars of uh, Shankukarna as Sri Prahlada, Sri uh, Balhiki Raja, Sri Vyasa Raja and Sri Raghavendra. And they would set up one below the other. Sri Raghavendra Brindavana will be the main one in that setting. Above that tier will be Sri Hari. Sri Guru Raja's lifelike presentation will be below the Brindavana. And that will be the Garbhagraha that we devotees should be having darshan of and getting exercised by its splendor. splendor. Below that will be the sacred place where the notebooks containing the Raghavendra Nama will be kept Preserve. Thus, the Garbhagrahas will be four in number. Dhyana Mandapa, Gurukula, Old Age Home, Veda Patashala, Dining Hall, Goshala and the like are also to be set up with public support. Besides, with the devotees' financial support, it is proposed to install idols in an imposing style depicting the Shankukarna Avatara and those following that mundane appearance. Sri Narasimha, who had graced Prahlada, Sri Balhi Kiraja, Sri Krishna, who, has, uh, who had blessed Sri Vyasa Raja, the Yantrodharaka Hanuman installed by Sri Vyasa Raja, Sri Venkatramana, who had blessed the birth of Sri Raghavendra, Sri Rama, who had enlightened the holy name Raghavendra being given to Venkatanatha, Goddess Saraswati, who had given darshan to Venkatanada, Sri Haigriva, who had prompted Sri Raghavendra to utter the words, 
Sakshi highest Stotrahi from his Brindavana and many other deities, numbering at least 30 Panchaloka idols, are to be consecrated in separate shrines. It is open to the devotees to take up the responsibility for setting up such individual shrines or for the fashioning of the idols to be installed by meeting the financial needs thereof to the extent one can afford. It is desired that Raghavendra Bhaktas should jointly set up this unique venture as early as possible, though such efforts may extend to five years or even more. The artistic creations of Sri Sasi will be placed for permanent exhibition in a separate floor and such valuable items will be protected against destruction by termites, white ants and climatic changes. All these would no doubt be expensive and it is only the devotee's help that can sustain these. Besides, it's also planned to produce a full-length serial on Sri Raghavendra with meticulous care, not only to project the cultural intricacies, but also to serve the purpose of being a reliable documentary evidence for posterity. Such a production would not only be telecast, but even projected on a screen at the Granthalia itself for viewing by the visiting devotees. While the pending of works on saints can be done by a single individual and Mrithika Brindavanas may be raised by the efforts of a few, it's only with the cooperation of a large number of devotees that a realistic presentation of what is contained in the Granthas may be accomplished in the form of display of idols, icons and the artistic presentations that could be worshipped with devotion as in temples. Truly, when the Granthalaya work is completed, it should be presenting a majestic look, exuding all that is contained in the Granthas right before our eyes. It would indubitably be creating the feeling of having entered into a temple and acquired knowledge of things that would give devotees a sort of contentment at heart. Devotees are requested to contribute their might for this worthy cause by money order, check, bank draft to the following address. Otherwise, remittances could be made into current account number 8271289322 with Indian Bank and a Xerox copy of the counterfoil sent to us with the remitter's name and address. If the remittance be through any other bank, IFS code number IDIB 000T055 should be used and the remittance effected for credit of the account mentioned earlier under advice to us to the following address. Sri Raghavendra Granthalaya Seva and Educational Charitable Trust Registered number 977 bar 2008 16 bar 116, TP Coil Street, Thirmala Flats, opposite Sri Raghavendra Swami Mat, Triplicate, Chennai, 600005. Presently, the showroom address of Brindavana Enterprises is given for Granthalaya. Timings 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. And donations may even be handed in person at the above address. Even after the gigantic Granthalaya comes up at Thiruvallur, an administrative unit of it will have to function at triplicate and its establishment too has to be achieved through devotees' financial support. The lengthy descriptions about various matters have swelled this volume of the serialized publication to beyond its normal size. But it is Sri Guru Raja who ultimately decides about the matter to be apportioned in the different volumes. I was hesitant why I should be writing on an article that had appeared in a monthly publication in 2006 under the caption, A Heart to Heart Talk with the Mantrale Mahan and regarding the real story that had been penned in 2009 as also about the Johur incident of 2010. But it was actually Sri Guru Raja who had caused me to explain matters relating to those. In 2008, the pontiff of Sri Padaraja Mat conferred on me the award Sri Raghavendra Kirana Prachara Nirata and it was published with a photograph in Rangavitala, 
the monthly publication of that month with the narration that the award was bestowed by the Swami on Sri Amman Satinathan, who has rendered for the public an account of the mysterious deeds of Sri Raghavendra Swami in eight parts, each of those running to about 500 pages. It was undoubtedly Sri Guru Raja who had caused that honor being extended to me as one spreading his glory all around in a unique manner. The Sri Padraja Matapita Adipati, Sri Vignananiti Tirtha, who had entered Brindavana in Mulbagal on 5-10-2010, had never failed to express appreciation of my services whenever talking about Sri Raghavendra Swami. This part 8 has indeed been designed as per the will of Sri Hari Vayu Guru. I had planned to write in this volume on Damodar Kun and was deeply involved in that effort. But the Mantralaya flood was an unexpected addition. It was however Sri Guru Raja's orchestration that I should include in this the incident relating to Sri Vijayendra Tirtha and the Bhimana Katte episode, both connected with water, as also about Gopi Tala, uh, Chakrank, uh, Chakrankite, Dwaraka, Mahishi, Helavanakatte, Giriyamma and Chintraveli, all of which are also linked with it. Since it's part 8, I wanted to include two chapters on socially Ashtabrindavanas, but could not do it as there is, there is some discrepancy in the years relating to those. I had visited uh, Karjahi, but could not pen about Karjagi Dasha for want of complete information on the subject. These may appear in the next part to be published. Like this, I have gathered a lot of information that have to be given a shape and published later when all reliable data are at hand. I plan to write about Kurmam and the significance of the Kurmasana below the Raghavendra Brindavanas. For want of certain information, it is held up for presentation later. I now sign this off, expressing my desire to get in touch with you all through part 9 that will be the next one to come out in this serialized writing. Surely it is the unstinted devotion towards Sri Guru Raja and the faith in divine dispensation as also our relentless adoration of the Supreme Being with the belief that he will be ever extending his helping hand through the Guru that will bring success in our efforts and cheer us up when confronting adversities. In conclusion, I express my prayer to Sri Harivayu Gurgalu for peace and prosperity in the world and happiness for everyone. The, this work is placed at the lotus feet of Bharati Ramana Mukya Prananata, uh, Pranantargata Sri Udupi Krishna. Om Sri Raghavendraya Namaha Sri Krishnarpanamastu Hari Priyatam.